I can only be just Wendy. I don't, I don't know how to be fake. Uh -huh. Hello, Knockouts. Tanya TKO here. And as you know, I'm a self-love specialist from TanyaTKO.com. I help you learn how to love yourself and each other. On this channel, we use viral video topics as teachable moments in our own lives of what self-love looks like, as well as what self-abusing through relationships may look like. And we're talking about romantic relationships, platonic relationships, as well as family relationships. Today we're going to be talking about Wendy Williams Hunter. Oh my gosh. Did you know, I first, okay. So we're going to be talking about the lie that Wendy has told and the lies that she's been telling. At first, I was making this video because I was disgusted by Wendy and how Wendy is twisting the truth so that she has a lot of you confused about what's going on behind the scenes because blogs and bloggers are reporting and Wendy is throwing information out there as if, as if what we're saying is untrue. But meanwhile, the stuff comes out and gets verified after the fact. So we're going to talk about, we're going to listen to this clip, how Wendy says that she knew for years. And so oh God, oh God, oh God. If you've been following this Wendy Williams story, you want to hear this and you want to see my next video because in the next video, I'm going to be doing a timeline of the evolution of Wendy's lies. So that's going to be next, but take a listen to this. Here we go. She was on the Andy Cohen show. So take a listen. When you were in the middle of the heat, and I know you're still in it a little bit, but when the Daily Mail was all over you every single day and all over your ex specifically your ex. and saying he was living this secret life and stuff, and you're going in and doing your show yeah. and you're doing hot topics, mm -hmm. how do you, how hard was that for you not to respond to what was going on Very or difficult. what you were going through? Very difficult. And I will shout out to Morel, my makeup artist, okay. who would co co hey, cover Morel. my puffy eyes. Because you we were crying every day. And, yeah. and, and yeah, he's been with me since my six-week sneak peek. And he, you know, I'd come in, my eyes would be puffy from crying. I would, I would do the show. And was there a part of you that wanted to respond to it? Um, I knew that I would, but I had to get my ducks in a row. It's like I knew a lot of things for years. Right. You say. You knew about this double I, life. I, I knew a lot of things for years. And, and, but my son was at home. It wasn't fair to him. <clears throat> You know, I'm not going to grab his hand and flee the scenes and move zip codes. Now he has to move high schools and stuff like that. He's just making friends. So now he's away in college. And the person that I am now is very single because he's not living with me. He goes to school in Miami. If the Daily Mail had not reported on that and taken those paparazzi pictures of him with the double I would have known anyway. I had my own. But do you think you would still be in it? My marriage? Yeah. Are you out of your mind? No, I don't know. Oh, well, John, he's out of his mind. John, one hundred percent. We learned that in the game earlier. Rescue yes, right. nine one one. Yeah, no, uh, no right. dear. Yeah. No, I can take a lot, but I'm not raising a family, and I'm not. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. Tell me what you heard. Tell me the arbitrals that you heard. All right. So. This is what led me towards the next video, the evolution of Wendy's lies. I'm going to go on a timeline from the time that she was born to when she met Kelvin, yes, with an L, darlings, to when it is that she filed for divorce, when him and she, I'm going to go through the whole shebang. So look for that in the next video because I want to make sure that all of that is in one little video. So if you remember... When she was on Sway's show, she was trying to pretend as if she only knew for two or three months. No, I, I want a divorce like yesterday. Okay. I want a divorce like two months ago, mm -hmm. three months ago, whenever I found out four months ago. Okay. I want a divorce. We are in August right now. So we're going to go through the complete timeline. I just wanted you all to take a listen to that because Wendy is telling untruths and she got you all tricked and confused out there. I can only be just Wendy. I don't, I don't know how to be fake. Mm -hmm. Husband, now look, I'm a straight shooter, pow, pow. You can believe what you want, but... And you know, she also talked about how she didn't remember she was in an assisted living sobriety facility. 
She had a sobriety coach following her around. There are reports that she was visibly drunk in public. And she is claiming that she did not relapse into drugs and all of this other stuff. Uh, I'm, I doing, I'm doing well. You're doing well? Yeah. Okay. Because we concerned, I, I saw everything you went through from uh, the, Lymphedema. The, the relapse to... There was no was relapse. No. Okay. okay. Well, no. How would you... And I have... There's a lot going on behind the scenes. That what That is what led me down the rabbit hole. And when you hear what I have to say about the timeline, you're going to be shook. I'm telling you, I was here in shivers reading this because I was like... Wait a minute, these dates are looking kind of funny. It's like when you put the dates together, everything starts to fall in line. Everything starts to add up and line up. But I wanted you all to just take a listen to that because Wendy is not being truthful. And Wendy, you know, she's so good at what it is that she does. She's so good at, you know how they say doctors make the worst patients? While certain hosts make the worst interviewees because they... Cons they don't answer questions like you saw her on Karen Hunter show. She didn't want to answer questions. And then the questions that she does answer sometimes are not truthful. Then there's some deflective crying perhaps thrown in in there. Then there's all of these grandiose stories made up. Then there's um, complete telling of the lies. Because if you remember, she came out and she said, all is well. She put up her ring and she said, all is well in Huntersville, right? All is well in Hunterville. Don't believe the hype. And if there was hype, believe me, you. I would let you know. That was two years ago. It seems like it was not that long ago, but that was September 2017. I'm telling you, I have the whole timeline. I got the B. Scott stuff, the demands for the, the cease and desist. I got everything. I got everything that I, can, that I could have gotten because you all know I'm from New York. And because I'm from New York, I was aware of Wendy, Wendy before many of you were. I remember Wendy when she was fluffy and feminine, right? So listen, we're going to go through all of that in the next video. Make sure that you're subscribed to my video. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Make sure you get my book of affirmation, self-love, to be able to offset things like this perpetuating in your life. Like if you're in a relationship that does not feel like home, Rewrite that subconscious programming because the life that you're living right now is a result of what your subconscious mind feels is, is possible. You heard her say in there that she did not want to uproot Kevin Jr. from high school. High school is four years. She made that the day. Ugh. You know what? Instead of going into it in this video, look out for the next video. Tanya TKO and I am out. Go out there and love one another. But most importantly, what? Love yourself. Love yourself. And I want to give a special shout out to on Instagram who first sent me this clip from the Shade Room. And then I went and found the extended clip to be able to play it here for you all. Continue to send me content and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.